I would like to know what is the purpose of this meeting. Mm -hmm. Nia yetu kuwa hapa ni kujua historia. Lakini pia kwa undani zaidi tutagusia vita vya majimaji. Na ni namna gani ambavyo kutangia vita vya majimaji hadi sasa mnaendeleaje kuishi na wamisionari na wananchi wengine. Mwenye mchikenje ndio aliopokea wamisionari wa kwanza Benedictine waliopo hapa ndanda. Ukizungumza vita vya majimaji katika nchi hii watu wengi wanajua songea ambayo iko mkoani Ruvuma eh, kusini mwa Tanzania lakini kiukweli vita vya majimaji vilianza katika mkoa huu wa Lindi na katika maeneo ya Kipatimu maeneo ya Nandete na maeneo ya Kibata different places people had different ways of resisting mm -hmm. now in Lindi they resisted through the majimaji war the interpretation of history depends on who is interpreting that. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah, who is interpreting that. So the majority for the German colonialists was a rebellion. The Africans were re rebelling against a lawful state. Mm -hmm. But for the Africans, this was a fight against oppression. Mm -hmm. One of the worst also effects of majority was people suffered because of hunger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Germans were going around burning villages with their food stores and people died. Once we start telling our own stories, we start venting, we start pouring out our hearts. Uh, it will encourage healing. People will understand themselves, understand the past, and realize that for the first time uh, in many years, there are others who would like to listen to how they feel. We seek to embark on would challenge established mm -hmm. notions mm -hmm. okay so to go on we need to understand the mindset of those who own those who created and own orthodox archives mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we want to redefine mm -hmm. what archives are mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. okay and reconstruct archives in yeah. a different yeah. way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, that may be challenging um, the past, those who own the past. Mm -hmm. Own the past, yeah. that's the right those way. Those who mm -hmm. own the past. Exactly. Yeah. We are moving from popular histories to public histories. It is a very solemn and violent, but at the same time, beautiful space that can be used really to re-educate or to help educate future generations on the importance of the events that took place here yeah. on a personal and a social level of course yeah. Thank you. if there is any way of having the document that are not confidential archived here to be digitized or to be opened to the public maybe attached to a university or a center in, in Mtwara. So like some copies also to be available for researchers, maybe in Tanzania, so that at least those documents which are not uh, confidential can be used for researchers beyond the Benedictine community. So one of the things for us is about access to ideas, to different ways of thinking, uh, and how that becomes meaningful to people who might be living in the area, but also to how it affects people who are living very far away. As part of all this, we're also trying to have an impact in policy, and we're trying to work with transnational organizations like the Organization for Security and Co Cooperation in Europe um, in order to um, communicate to governments um, and, and local groups the importance of archives and local archives and non-traditional archives. So not just paper archives, but other forms as well. Is there a spatial practice where you sit down together and you do the storytelling? Or does it happen more naturally? Uh, no special day. No special day, yeah. right. But at any day, mm -hmm. but not on the road mm -hmm. or any, 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 okay. anywhere else. Okay. It must be at home. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Okay. There are some contradictions mm -hmm. in the history books. So what you are doing, you are going to find out whether the history books are right 
or what we are telling you is right. We are not here to say what is right or not right. I think what we're interested in, and then people can come in and tell me if I'm wrong about this, mm -hmm. is how there's always going to be different stories about something that was understood in the past. So maybe the way Siegfried understands the story is going to be different than the way the chief understands it, than the way Teresa understands it. And we're trying to say that all those stories are important for the now and for how we understand the future.